Hi everyone, Tony from Hack the Movies here, and today I got something special for you. As you know, I like to uh, promote the Patreon and YouTube memberships. I talk about them a lot, actually. Uh, I thought it'd be fun to give you guys a free sample. Uh, this is one of the bonus reviews we do on Patreon and for YouTube channel members. Uh, a lot of times these movies are more obscure, real real indie stuff, uh, or just crazy stuff that I know won't do well on the main channel. Um, and this one might not do well. But I wanted to give uh, you guys who were curious, like I said, a sample of the Patreon content. Uh, videos like this can be found at the $2 tier on Patreon or if you become a YouTube member for $2. And then beyond that, we have the $5 tier, which is commentary tracks and the bonus videos. And that's exclusive to Patreon. Also, the $10 tier is exclusive live streams and exclusive wallpapers. Uh, the 5 and 10 tiers are exclusive to Patreon. The 2 tier is on Patreon and YouTube. Now, this video I'm about to show you is one I did with Casey. It was actually the second video I ever did with Casey because we did three together on Patreon. Uh, it's for a, um, a Texas Chainsaw inspired film called Cannibal Farm or Escape from Cannibal Farm, I guess, depending on where you are. Uh, yeah, and it's, it's a very bizarre, interesting movie. It, it seems like on the surface, it's a Texas Chainsaw ripoff, but yeah, it's got a lot of weird stuff going for it. So, uh, yes, check out this video. If you like it, feel free to sign up for Patreon. And, uh, yeah, enjoy. Welcome back, Casey, on this totally different day. <laughs> Thank you. Isn't it great? Oh, my God. It's so great to be back here in the store. Yeah. Feels like feels like yesterday we I were know. talking about Camp Coldbrook. <laughs> Camp Coldbrook. <laughs> yes. Uh, so today we're talking about Cannibal Farm. Okay. Well, first off, my bad. Uh, no. Take that back. <laughs> wow. Okay. I can't wait to talk about it. Okay. This. So uh, during my famous L.A. trip where I embarrassed myself. How oh, did I not tell you about that? No, no, you never said how you were embarrassed. Oh, I've talked about it on so many shows. I forgot to really go into it on mine. Um, well, I just had too much chocolate, normal chocolate. Oh my God. Yeah, I just had, I see, I'm not someone who has normal chocolate <laughs> all the time. And when I do, it's like, 10 milligrams of chocolate. I accidentally had 100 milligrams of chocolate. And then I had to introduce my friend's live show in front of a room, like a room full of people. Uh, I didn't do a very good job. Irresponsible. And then I sat on the panel the whole time, <laughs> going in and out of consciousness and not knowing if I was talking out or out loud or whatnot. But anyway, mm. earlier that day, uh. <laughs> as I was, before everything went so wrong, earlier that day, we, uh, me, Riley, and Mint Salad, good friends, we were watching, we were looking at stuff on Tubi. And I was like, what's Cannibal Farm? Let's watch that. Uh, and it was reminding us of the film that me and them did called Pumpkins a oh, while yeah. back. Which was another weird European, mm -hmm. I don't know what the hell was, what Pumpkins was. Mm -hmm. That was that was a fucking mess of a film. Uh, but we started watching this one thinking it was going to be real terrible. And it starts off, I'm like, well, this is shot really, really well. And it's like, oh, it's got nice music. And <laughs> okay, I mean, the acting's not terrible, but I'm like, wow, this actually looks like a movie. And I realize as we're watching it, um, well, I expected it to be like a straight up Texas Chainsaw ripoff, which yeah. I assume you probably did too. Yeah, because even the cover. Yeah, actually, this movie has a different title. Escape from Cannibal Farm. That's the different title? Yes. Yeah, good, good so job. I was looking up the... I was looking it up on IMDb, and that's what came up. Oh, good good on them changing. That's way too long. Yeah. Uh, cannibal Farm's cool. Plus, there's other movies that start with Cannibal, so you get the, I know. There were a lot. Yeah. I was surprised. Cannibal Holocaust. Uh-huh. Oh, yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> we don't go there. <laughs> Let's not go there. <laughs> I keep telling Trisha it's a very important Italian film. She doesn't want to watch it for whatever reason. Oh, <laughs> So I'm watching it. I'm like, wow, this looks like a movie, not a particularly great movie, but I'm like, this is pretty good. Then it feels like a generic Texas Chainsaw thing. And then there's a twist mm -hmm. and the twist had me intrigued. And then we turned the movie off and then we said, we got to go the, to the, the chocolate store now. 
and then I never finish it. But then when you were uh, talking about this, because you said you liked the new Texas Chainsaw. I had so much fun watching that. And I had so much fun watching this. Oh, no. Okay. All right. Well, anyway. Oh, so so I, I think I told you, I was like, well, I started watching this movie. It was better than the last few Texas Chainsaws, which actually, yeah. which actually that might still <laughs> ring true. But I finally finished the movie and I was like, oh, God, this, this went really weird. I'm still not sure what happened in it. So <laughs> can you give the setup for this movie, by the way? Can you just give us what the setup is? So in the beginning, there's a lot of abuse happening. Which is, <laughs> can I not say? I can't say that word. Oh no, my you gosh. can. You can. You can. One, you're allowed to say abuse. Two, okay. this is paywalled, unlisted. You're okay. <laughs> well, it, it was really, that was the hardest part to watch. And these two kids, they really bully this one kid and pretty much on accident set him on fire. <laughs> His face on fire. Yeah, just his face. Just his face. And the poor father has to take him into like the river or whatever. Yeah. And for some, when they take him back home, for some reason, the mother just can't stand to live anymore <laughs> because of what just happened. So she sets herself yeah, on fire. As you do. As you do. What I said with this movie is, was Psycho meets Texas Chainsaw Massacre meets the new wrong turn meets the descent meets hostel. <laughs> <laughs> what what did you think of the new wrong turn? It wasn't it was a totally different movie. It should And it was been. by the same wasn't yeah. it? Yeah. I think I think he was just like if I call it wrong turn people will oh. see it cuz it was called the foundation other places. Oh, that, but, that's he should have just left it at I that. I have a full review of that. You can check that out there. I think I did watch that one. Yeah. That was good. Yeah, so then there's a family and they're yes. going on vacation. By the way, it's Hanson Farm. Like Gunnar Hansen. Oh my gosh. You good didn't get for that? Them. No, I didn't. Oh, uh, Gunner was so nice. All right, you met him. Uh, I got he was at my very first convention. He was Aww. like the first person I talked to. He was so nice. Yeah. God, he it was, was not a sweet guy. He did not like the remake of Texas Chainsaw. Uh, <laughs> Good thing he's not I was, saying I was this like, one. I was like, Same that with new Sally. one's pretty bad. And he's like, yeah. Anyway, um, and you can't tell me if I'm a liar or not because mm -hmm. he's dead and you'll never know. So you'll have to take my my word for it. Uh, he's in a bad movie called. Uh, whale watching massacre oh my gosh i need to see that one <laughs> you could go your whole life without seeing that one <laughs> so there's a family that's going on vacation and uh they have a stepdad and he's very insistent that no one have any of their electronics or yeah. cell phones he's such a douche he is a douchebag and i said that there is good cinematography here i do have to point out during the campfire scene there is a boom mic just right oh i didn't see the boom right mic. in the middle of the frame above the one kid i'm like ah Ah, uh, yeah, there it is. There it is. What a family, though, right? What a family! What can you describe? Can you tell me can a little bit just, about this family? We need to do like yeah. Pause for okay. Toby. Who, who, do we, who do we have here? <laughs> Toby. Wait, Toby. Toby. He. He's the glasses one. Yes. Yes. When he came on the screen, I was like, "All right, I'm in. <laughs> I am yes. in." He's the glasses teenager who loves horror movies. Yes, he's an icon. Yeah. <laughs> He is, I don't know and he like messes it. with his little brother. Yes, there's the little brother. Yeah, uh, and then there's the older sister and her husband who uh, are having money issues, mm -hmm. and then the mom, of course, who is then married to this asshole Wesley. stepdad. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. But the, the, they were seriously about to fuck in front of their brothers in that town. I know. <laughs> like that was that was weird, right? It that was, was really weird. No. <laughs> I can hear everything you're doing, you know. It's not okay. That was a little bizarre. I'm like, I, this family's a little fucked. I don't know. And they're vegan. And the they're couple's ve vegan. <laughs> and Wesley has a problem with that because that doesn't make you man enough. Yes. <laughs> uh, I don't, uh, being vegan is fine. Yes. It, oh my gosh. <laughs> it doesn't, it doesn't make you less manly. No. It can make you annoying. Um, no offense if you are, but <laughs> it's but fine. Really, what were they going to eat? It, yeah, it's true. It's fine if you're vegan. It's just, there's some vegans that want to like lecture you about it. And it's mm -hmm. like, oh my God. It's like, I don't care if you're vegan. Please don't care about me. Yeah. But anyway, and they're like, what about the animals? I'm like, animals suck. Anyway. Uh, <laughs> oh, I don't think animals think No. Nah, I, I don't think that. But some of them do. My cat. Uh, oh. <laughs> my cat was forced upon me. The cat that I'm currently living with and posting all the time. That is my sister's cat. Uh -huh. That I didn't want in the first place when we lived together, and now I I own the cat. It's very kind of. Ah, uh, yeah. Anyway, uh, so they get attacked. 
Yeah, they get right into it. Yeah, they get attacked and then they meet like the crazy did, old man who's the dad. Did you understand a word he said? I didn't understand in the a initial goddamn meeting. thing. No. And I'm like, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Fold him up. Oh, we're connecting the boss from down on Dirty River. <laughs> we don't want cider. And like, you know, it's pretty generic that the killer's wearing a face. It's like, cool, uh -huh. whatever. But again, it's better than the last few texts of Shane's all. <laughs> so I'm like, at least something's happening. The, they put him in cages. Yes, it's wild. Where I didn't understand the logistics of the cages because some people could touch them without getting zapped. And then other ones. I think, I think Riley pointed out. So he puts... He puts the, 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 the what should we call it? The, uh, the car things. So that's why I can't make fun of people for not being manly. <laughs> I just, I'm like, yeah, the, the, the car things. Touche. <laughs> the, oh. Spark plug, right? Is that what they call? We'll, we'll go with that. That's good. <laughs> Whatever it is, just jumper cables, jumper yeah, cables. That's that we... it. Air five. It's been a long, uh, yeah, air five. It's been a long day. So they put jumper cables on the doors to the thing, and they're like, if you try to get out, you'll get electrocuted. Mm -hmm. And I think Riley, when we were watching, he's like, well, yeah, what did that spread to the rest of the kit? Like, the, yeah. the ground that they're on, like, is the <laughs> does the cage not go underneath their ass? They would be electrocuted the whole time. And I'm like, yeah, it doesn't make any sense. But I'm still on board at this point. Yes, me too. I'm like, I'm on board. And then we get the twist. Mm -hmm. The dad set him up. Yeah. This is the, the first of like, dad. this is the first of 10,000 twists, I feel. <laughs> there is a lot. <laughs> like I said, this is, what is it? You um, said Psycho and whatnot. Psycho meets Texas Chainsaw <laughs> Massacre, meets The New Wrong Turn, meets The Descent, meets Hostel. <laughs> so he's in on it, and there's like this weird secret underground cannibal thing. And I'm mm -hmm, like, mm -hmm. as someone who likes Texas Chainsaw 4 with the whole Illuminati, subplot that they sprinkled in there. Uh -huh. I'm in the minority with that one. Uh, have you seen Texas Chainsaw 4? The Next Generation? Wait. With why Matthew McConaughey. Oh, that one. Yeah. I kind of surpassed that one. I think I may have just watched your video on that, actually. Well, if you don't want to watch the full movie, my good friends at Movie Dumpster, who were in my Texas Chainsaw oh. videos, we decided there was more to talk about with that one. We <laughs> just reviewed that one fully. Oh, nice. I love that one. But they, okay, sprin I will watch they it. sprinkled in an Illuminati subplot. Mm. And that's so when they got to this point where he's like selling the family uh, to this weird underground cannibal society, I'm like, okay, I'm on board here. And they even went so far to do that whole act in front of the family where he's like right. being like shot and whatnot. Mm -hmm. And then again, at this point is when we turned the movie off in LA. <gasps> and I was like, I'll watch the rest later. Uh huh. Yeah, a lot, mm. lot happens. Uh, so the old it's man. It's a long movie. It, you know what? It's not. It feels. It long. feels long. Like, uh, yeah. I, I remember, like near in the end, I'm like, oh wow, this movie's been like three <laughs> hours long, and it's like an oh, hour ten minutes. I'm like, no fucking way. <laughs> so try to help me. So the old yeah. man is not as crazy as he seems. I still don't know if he's the good guy or the bad guy, I, I, because they he the stepdad gets the money. Yeah. And then they. Take him and put him back in the cage. Yes. I didn't understand that part. Also, the stepdad is super racist. I was like, Oof. oh, <laughs> he was going on a rant. I was like, oh, <laughs> also, how did the dad figure out about the cannibals? I really just I I think he got with that mother. Yeah. For this reason. That's a long con. I, like, I know. I really think so, though, because it, why would she be with him? I don't know. But is he giving them other people in the meantime? Cause like that's possible. He's got a lot invested in this. I he's got to marry her. He's got to build connections with the kids and whatnot. <laughs> he did he's... not. They did not build any connections. Yeah. Um. So yeah, we find out like the old man. He he feels like he has to do this. Mm -hmm. So he apparently got revenge on the boys. Oh gosh, there's so much to unpack. There's a lot to unpack. It, yeah. Like it's it's ten movies. So, yes. So he had his initial revenge on the boys and he kidnaps their family in the past. Yep. To torture them. Right. <laughs> and then he does, but but then he wasn't gonna torture the mom, but then the dad ran away. The dad ran away after he cut off the mom's arm. Spoiler. Right. <laughs> That's fine. And then the mom's like, honey, the only way that you can save us is if you cut off your feet and go through the cage. I'm not cutting off my feet. I'm cutting <laughs> off all your feet. And so they have a great shot of him leaving with all of their feet attached to him. 
And okay. he's a, he's the only one to ever escape. He's the only him. one to ever escape. Okay, so then the old man is also. Now, did he? Okay, no. They flash back to him finding his wife's corpse, uh, which is psycho. just a yeah. But what? Apparently, she lit herself on fire and right away <laughs> just became a pure white skeleton. <laughs> yeah. Well, he, he's been taking care of her. And he has it. been taking care of her, and clearly it's just a skeleton they bought. <laughs> yeah. but, but in my mind, I'm like, okay, he cleaned her up. He mm -hmm. like put he put those screws in there, and it's definitely not something you buy or take <laughs> from a medical thing. But then they show the flashback of him finding her body, and it's a complete <laughs> screwed together, bleached white skeleton. I'm like, that's not how dead yeah. bodies work. She would be all like yellow and gross and still right. have flesh and not all the bones, the bones wouldn't all be connected. Like the yeah. cartilage. And she was very beautiful when she was alive. I don't know how <laughs> he was, he was, he's much older than her. Just saying. A, a beautiful woman dating a much older, gross looking Whatever. guy. Whatever. I've never heard of it. Whatever. A, a guy who has like a lot of land and presumably a lot of money from a, like a wealthy, but you're right. Work of fiction. If you ask me. Stop me if you heard this one. Anyway. I know. <laughs> um, or may maybe it was just true love, okay? Yeah, you're right. Just true love. True love. Who, what am I saying? Age is nothing but a number. I, depending, never mind. D look up the age of consent laws in your state. Okay. Anyway, let's <laughs> keep going. Uh, so so he's been doing this can. How he got in league with cannibals, I don't know. I know. But there's this evil man called the, the meat, meat eater. eater. Okay, we're going to pause here. Okay. Now there's another side plot of yeah. who was the the brother that you like Toby Toby so. who I just followed on Instagram and he followed me back <laughs> Is so that great he, Yes so he gets out He yes Yes He does an amazing job Yes Well he gets out and they want him to put a collar on to walk him like a dog Yes which some people are into <laughs> But so they take him and as what do they call him? What is oh. not Leatherface? No. Oh God. I don't know if he had any. Oh, honestly. he had some a face. Flesh, flesh face. Flesh I face. <laughs> Can't be it. Can we call him Pleatherface? Because he's, he's a discount Leatherface. Yes, face. we'll like do that. that. He's Pleatherface. And so he already gets to Toby's face, and yeah. is already, you know, kind of coming off. Kind of taking that face off. Yeah. Which does not look like he is, but <laughs> that actor is trying. And then he's me. Then he like takes his time doing something, and Toby goes to get his yeah. weapon, and it's the loudest sound. <laughs> he tries to be as quiet as he can, but it is so loud. I don't understand how <laughs> Pleather doesn't hear it. And Toby literally kills him. Yeah. So so our, so our mascot <laughs> on the cover is now killed. Yeah. He's dead. But Toby is so smart, and I feel like he's just living his dream right now because he becomes. Leatherface, so genius though, so the the father doesn't know, you yeah. know, like he could just pretend, even though his haircut's totally different. And then he goes. The father doesn't seem the most observant, <laughs> so. Neither does his own family, though. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So uh, at some point, the the sister has broken out. Yeah. <sighs> okay. Uh, by the way, the little boy, who knows where the fuck he is? He's kidnapped <laughs> yeah. somewhere else. They took him. They yeah. took him first. Uh, you know, child labor on a film said it's pain in the oh, ass. Oh, yeah, so right. that's why. That's why you kidnap him and put him somewhere else. It's like, oh, oh God. that's good. And Wish Wesley is, can I say it? Yeah, yeah. Wesley is dead now because Toby killed him. Right. In the cage. Sorry, right. that was before. Wesley, dead. The, the evil dad is dead. Yes. Um. So they, they're like, oh, it's the killer. Mm -hmm. Let's beat him up and throw him in a big furnace. <laughs> And then I didn't see this part coming where like he like comes to and the mom's like, oh, no, you're in the first. The mom has so many monologues. Like when Wesley turns out to be a bad guy mm -hmm. and she's just going on these long soliloquies. Yeah, and I'm like, like she's definitely a theater lady. She's yes, definitely. Like, Sell it, girl. But they have these like like long written out speeches. They I'm do. Like, this is not how normal people talk in these situations. <laughs> Not that I've ever been in this situation, but this isn't how I would talk. Especially when your son is dying. Yeah, she sings like... to him. <laughs> My mom would do anything to get out of that cage, no matter what, and get me out of the furnace. Your pretty little feet, they tread so sweet. Strike off the morning dew. 
Oh, stay, oh, stay, you handsome maid. <laughs> There really something a lot going on. How do you think they did that, though? It looked like kind of like in a haunted house that they do. Yeah, where they that have like the cool. orange light glowing. Yeah, it was yeah. cool. So, so then the older sister goes to neighbors who are in on the meat eating cannibal people. Yes. And they well, were so. Well, she thought she was finding saviors. Yes, although they're like <laughs> no. dressed real nice. Oh uh, yeah, these, yeah. these seats up. <laughs> okay. They make noises. They slide. <laughs> Uh, she thinks she's getting help, even though they look nothing like farmers. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like, no. if I were to walk in there, I'm like, all right, you guys aren't, you guys aren't on the level. Something's weird here. Mm -hmm. Uh, so, she, so she's dealing with that. And Toby does die, right? Wait, <laughs> wait, you have to wait for it. Okay, okay, okay. How does it happen? I have to even think back to it. So the, she comes to this really wealthy couple. Yeah. The wealthy couple doesn't even care that this woman's covered in blood. <laughs> The thing that they say to her is, okay, go use our upstairs shower. Just don't use the white towels. <laughs> <laughs> what does she do? She uses the white towels. <laughs> Doesn't even clean herself off anyway. Yeah. And then they call the meat eater instead of the police. Right. right. And the meat eater is the guy who... Got, so <laughs> we talked in the last movie, the, uh, the girl who watched the TV show and then somehow got yes. in the TV. So... So, what was the meat eater's real name? It was like... Oh. Zachariah. Whatever. Not Zachariah. Okay, so the meat eater. <laughs> he, he So, he escaped years ago. And then, I guess, started an underground cannibal industry. Or did that already exist? I... Exactly. So, then he's, like, hired the Hanson Farm guy. Unknowingly, the Hanson Farm guy uh -huh. doesn't know he's working... For the meat eater, because he never comes to Hanson Farm. Exactly. So he's been. <laughs> what the fuck? I can't. I, it's, it's. I know, and like he, he's just remember he's the one that escaped with all of his family's feet. Yes. On him. So then he 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 started the business. He's got Farmer Hanson working for him, but now Farmer Hanson wants to quit and just be with his boy. Yeah. But his boy's dead. Dead. And now he meets the meat eater. And he's like, it was right. me all along. Right. But we need, before that happens, yeah. yeah, the girl goes back to save. So she puts the meat eater somewhere. <laughs> we don't somewhere. know. Somewhere. Somewhere. And so she goes back to save her mom. And the guy is there, Hanson. Yes. Right? Hanson is there. The old man Hanson. And the girl goes to save the mom. And she has this whole contraption happening. And the mom, now she wants to save her son. <laughs> So she throws this hook onto the furnace. I forgot about this. This was hook. awesome, though. This was <laughs> awesome. I was so excited. And the car, the girl uses the car to get her out of the cage to get right, the, right. It opens the furnace, <laughs> and out comes Toby. Who would have, even if he had not been burnt, like <laughs> like he would not be able to breathe in there. Like he's dead. Yes. Like, he's dead. He, he's His brain is cooking inside his skull. He's gone. But this whole time, I was like, wow, he's going to be the new pleather face. This is going to be great. He's living his dream. This is what he always wanted. And he goes to attack Hanson. Yeah. And what does the sister do? She shoots Toby in the head. Because she still thought it was... No. No. She <laughs> Well, I think she did. Okay. And then the mom's like, you just killed your brother. And she's like... That wasn't Toby. That's not Toby anymore. <laughs> and I'm like, I don't like her. Yes. <laughs> she killed him twice. Yes, yeah, so she killed him twice. <laughs> and now... And then the movie ends where she... The fa the surviving family leaves, but sister is staying. Oh, yeah. Oh, right. Her husband's dead, too. Well, they right? needed Hanson to talk to the meat eater. Yeah. Hanson told the meat eater, your two boys are alive. Oh, right. It's the boys that... That's live with the, the, oh, I forgot there were more people. That's the new wrong. I know. That's the new wrong turn and descent. So they're in this underground thing. They buried them, but he still feeds them. And yes, they don't have faces. <laughs> and that's where the boy is. I don't know. Right. And there's a guy with a lazy eye or something. Who? What? That was my note. Blind who eye the, Bill. Who I the think F was is his Bill? Name. <laughs> yeah. He's like, I gave him the blind eye. It's like, I'm still not sure <laughs> on who he is. That's the only time he's in the movie. He just picks up yeah. the. Yeah. Because they literally, he's like, you survived blind eye Bill. I gave him the blind eye. And that's supposed to be like a big revelation. It's like, yeah, but I, I'm not really clear on who he is. 
Is he a big deal? He's not. <laughs> so then she stays behind because now her mission is to hunt down all the cannibal people. Yeah. And then eat them or skin <laughs> I don't, them. I think she yeah, to ultimately ultimately kill them. Yes. But also, I don't think she had anything going for her. <laughs> she was running out of money. She couldn't yes, afford the and apartment. And her husband like, died. And the mom was just unwilling to bail her out. So Yeah. And I think she was just like, you know, this is my new life. <laughs> She's like, I got a nice big farm. It seems like the cops never come around. No. I'm going to be here for a while. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, so now that we've tried to figure out what this movie <laughs> was, this, this is like the 3D uh, uh, painting of movies. Like, oh, you have to yeah. like really stare at it and be like, Am I getting it? I don't think I'm getting all of this. Mm -hmm. I thought at one point it was going to turn into a game show or something. Yeah. Like. Oh yeah, like it was like yeah. <laughs> that would have that would have been something. Yeah. It's a very confusing movie. It it's it, very it, odd. It it really went for it. It's ambitious. I love it. <laughs> I love it. I'll give it points for trying more so than the last few Texas Chainsaw movies. I'm like they had an idea. Okay. They really they didn't quite think it out all the way. They had, this was their chance, and they just yeah. took every movie idea they ever had. It's going to start put it all off, into one. It's going to start off like a slasher, but this going to be part of this <laughs> bigger conspiracy. But then, like, the conspiracy is actually going to turn into a revenge thing. It's like, all right, pick one. I know. Pick one. But when I looked the, up the director, it seems like this whole cast, they all do movies together. So I'm very curious okay. to see their other films. Yeah. Were are they also on Tubi? Oh, I, I didn't check, but it's possible. Yeah, I feel like we're gonna revisit these That'd people. Be great. <laughs> I, feel like I need great. to. I'm intrigued enough with this one. I'm like, I need to know what else these guys. Toby's got. Instagram is B Movie Scream Queen, so I'm excited. <laughs> <laughs> we should get him on the show. <laughs> Please, <laughs> hey guys. <laughs> The show that had, you know, famous director Fred Olin Ray and famous director Lloyd Kaufman. We now have Toby from Cannibal Farm. He might see this. Huh? He might see this. Toby, uh, he's going to pay the two or five dollars <laughs> to sign up for Patreon. <laughs> yes. You know what? I'll post the clip of us talking about Do him it. for free. Absolutely. Toby, you have an open invitation to come on <laughs> Hack the Movies. Come to America, come to rural Pennsylvania, and hang out with us, I guess. And we'll talk about, I don't know, we already talked about His all the performance. <laughs> we'll talk about your performance. <laughs> How about amazing. that? amazing. I really do sincerely mean Yeah. That. So would you recommend this movie to people? 100%. <laughs> I literally, you have to play this at a party. Yeah. Everything that we've just told you, like, you just still have to watch it. Yes. It really, it's definitely one of those movies, like, okay, not in terms of quality, but in terms of like how it starts one way and goes into another direction, uh -huh. it reminds me of like, you know, from Dust Till Dawn, where it's like, this is oh. a this is a bad guys on the run movie. It's like a vampires. Mm. This feels like that. Where it's like so it starts fun. in one way and it ends in a completely different way. Yeah. And it's a fun journey to go through. Mm -hmm. Even though I'm not entirely sure what it all meant <laughs> or what was going <laughs> no. on at any period of time. What about that kill that not kill, but the hand hands coming off? <sighs> Wasn't that you? <laughs> When he put his hand on the cage and his yeah. hands popped off. Yeah. I loved it. <laughs> I loved it. Pleatherface. <laughs> really should have been Oh, I hope they make another. They... Hey, director, <laughs> we will be in Cannibal Farm 2 or 3 or 4, depending on how many sequels you get. He used everything. He used everything for this film, though. But I did wear this shirt for the girl. Yes. By the way. Yes. She wasn't my favorite though, because she kept killing Toby. <laughs> kept and killing the mom too. But whatever. You could be her daughter in the future. Yeah. You'd be like, you run the cannibal farm now. Oh my gosh. She was so proud of herself too. She really was. Anyway, that is it from us at Cannibal Farm. I say check it out. It's a fun time. Uh, it's a good background movie because uh, something's always happening. <laughs> <laughs> and it'll go on. It'll go on. on and on and on forever. If, uh, you know, you're a theater student and you want to practice how to do monologues, yeah. definitely, definitely look at I the I think acting. there is like a deep-rooted meaning. I just couldn't quite grasp it. We it's about figured. family. It's a again, lot about Again, again, it. it's a work of art. You really got to study it. it. Some people study art for years and years. <laughs> Tony, when I, <laughs> when I finish this movie,
movie. I thought it was so good. I'm like, no wonder he recommended this to me. <laughs> it's so good. Oh, I recommended it because I saw the first 30 minutes. I'm like, this isn't too bad. And then I watched the rest of it after we agreed to it. I'm like, oh, man, I don't know if I want to pick this one. It was great. But it's a work of art. Like I said, we'll study it forever. It'll be in a museum one day. And they're gonna, awesome. and asshole college students are going to write papers on what they think the movie means. <laughs> oh my, what an honor. And that is it from us. We'll see you guys next time. Goodbye. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Check out our other videos and Patreon page.